More often than not, you will use variables in your Excel VBA projects. And why is it important to use the right type of variables? Basically, for two reasons. The first one is that Excel stores a lot of things in memory. And if you choose the wrong type of variable, you will make your code run slower, especially for big codes. The second reason is that each variable behaves differently. So you might choose a variable that does not correspond to what you want. For example, let's say you want to store decimal numbers, but then you choose an integer variable. So in this case, it will not have any decimal points and you will get wrong results. So here in this table, I have the most common types of variables and I'll go through them quickly to see what they are. And then we're gonna go into variable rules, then naming conventions, and I'll show you a little bit in the code how to do all this. So first of all, you have the byte variable. The byte variable, I don't use that much. It takes one byte of space and it goes from zero to 255. So if you have a number that goes above 255 or below zero, this data type will not work for you and it will not take decimals. The one that is often used, especially for counters, is the integer. It takes two bytes and it goes from minus 32,000 to plus 32,000, no decimals. Long is a bigger version of this. As you can see, the more you have bytes, the bigger the numbers and the ranges. So for long, it is a much bigger range. Again, no decimals. Boolean is a two byte variable, it's false or true. Double basically is the variable that will encompass very big numbers and very big positive numbers. And here you're gonna start using decimals. Then we use something called strings for text, to store text. Then you have objects which are for more advanced users. So for example, you have worksheet, workbooks and ranges. Dates, it takes eight bytes. It starts with the year 100 and ends with the year 9999. Currency, basically it will have large numbers. The only problem with currency is that you can only have up to four decimal points. And then the default type that you have in VBA when you don't declare is basically the variant type. And as you can see, the variant type takes 16 bytes. Now, these are the most common types. If we go to the rules of naming your variables, you cannot use space, that's number one. You cannot start with a number, but you can have a number in your variable. You cannot use some of the special characters such as a dot, an exclamation mark, and add the rate. And you should not use keywords like for example, string or while, etc. But you can write for example, string one, it will work. So let's go to our VBA code and let's try to declare some variables. So I'm gonna click here. Here I have, for example, a module. I'm gonna do subtest. And then here we're gonna declare variables. So to declare a variable, you have to use the keyword dim, D-I-M. For example, if I want to declare a variable that is a text, I'm gonna do dim my text as string. So this is how you declare your variables. In terms of naming conventions, especially when you have big projects, it is recommended to put the type of variable before the name. So for example, I'm going to do dim str my text and my will be small letter then the T will be capital letter. But again, it depends on your personal preferences. When you want to assign something to your variable, you can use the keyword let. So for example, let str my text. And if you see, I typed the T in small letter because VBA will automatically recognize that this is my variable is equal to double quotation. I'm going to put text here, close double quotation, enter. You can see that it will make it capital. Now this let is optional. So you will see in a lot of codes, including mine, usually I'm going to do just this. But if you see it in some codes, then you can understand what it is. Objects are a little bit different. So for example, I'm going to do dim workbook as workbook. So this is an object. 
Now to declare it, if you just do wk equal this workbook, for example, this will give you an error. Let's look at it together. We play and we see object variable or with block variable not set. When you see this error, it means you have to use set here. So for object, don't forget the set. So this is it for variables. If you like this video, please, as usual, don't forget to press on the like button and subscribe to the channel.